Hey, I got myself a Ruger Super Blackhawk. Of course, that's chambered in the 44 Magnum. But where did it come from? No, not this ridiculously long gun. I'm talking about the 44 Magnum. Okay, it starts in the early 1950s. A hand loader, an avid handgun hunter, an absolute chad by the name of Elmer Keith. Keith had previously been a big part of the production of the 357 Magnum. And now he wanted a handgun that could take down any game in North America. So using the same successful formula he had for the 357, he took a 44 Special and loaded way too much powder in it, resulting in the 44 Special Magnum. Now, there were bigger rounds available to Keith at the time, like the 45 Long Colt. But the reason he didn't use that, the Long Colt's casing, was way too thin to hold the pressures. Plus, the guns that shot that ammo wouldn't hold the pressures either. So, he went with the thicker 44 Special. With his new Special 44 Magnum, he took it and his very large all-American testicles to Remington and Smith and & Wesson. And all three worked together to come up with the 44 Remington Magnum that we know today. Now, the casing on slightly longer than the 44 Special. That way, you don't load it in there and lose digits. Now, everybody knows what gun Smith & Wesson came out with. If you don't, watch Dirty Harry. Of course, I'm talking about the Model 29. In 1955, they made a prototype of their Model 29 pistol. Then in January of 1956, they announced it to the public. In the summer of 1956, an employee of Bill Ruger brought a 44 Remington Mag case to his boss. And they came up with this, the Ruger Super Blackhawk. Now there's two prevailing rumors. One is that a Ruger employee had found a 44 Magnum casing and brought it to his boss. Another is that a Remington employee with a little bit of corporate espionage brought some 44 Magnum rounds to the Ruger employee. What this led to was Ruger hitting the market first with their Super Blackhawk sometime in November of that year. And to add insult to injury, the Ruger round was hotter and traveled at a higher velocity, far surpassing what Keith had in mind for his 44 Magnum. While I'm dressed like this, one of the cool things about being a YouTuber, especially a gun YouTuber, is things that weren't targets before become targets. And as you've seen from the title of this video, we're doing some point blank action on some expired food goods. We're gonna see what kind of damage this 44 Magnum will do. Now the blazer rounds that I'm using are 240 grain. They're clocking out of the barrel pretty fast. And the foot pounds of pressure is pretty high up there. We're talking about 676 foot pounds of pressure. That equals to 1,039 joules. That's a whole lot of hurt coming out the end of this 10 inch barrel. We'll see what kind of damage we could do at point blank range. It absolutely destroyed these cans. All right, let's go on to some spoiled eggs. This ought to be fun. Well, here's the first egg carton. Yeah. Not much of it left. This smells wonderful. Ah! I 
I got absolutely drenched. I got absolutely drenched. Look at that. The, <laughs> the bottle had jumped back on the barrel of the gun. This thing is gonna need some serious cleaning when I'm done. <laughs> oh, they disappeared. First box is torn to shreds. The second box has an entry hole. And an exit hole. Let's look at the cakes. Oh yeah, they're a mess in there. I think I got some more canned goods. Let's see what kind of mess we can make. Get between the eyes, America. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. <laughs> I can't say anything! <laughs> I got absolutely drenched! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed freedom cooking with the gun doctor. As you can see, this super black hawk can make an absolute mess. Now you probably won't be letting me in your kitchen anytime soon, but you can hit that subscribe button along with that bell notification. So you can know when we upload in the future and you can see more nonsense like this. I wanna give a huge shout out to our Patreon, our one Patreon supporter. Thank you for your support. You've been there for the past few months. Awesome. Really appreciate that. And as for the rest of you, leave a comment. If you want to see me do more videos like this in the future with some big guns, let me know. It was pretty fun. I got a big mess to clean up. That's enough of me rambling on. Stay safe and keep shooting, America. Don't go anywhere yet. I wanted to say this earlier. I forgot to mention it. Ever since the inception of the 44 Magnum, it's been a super popular round with carbine rifles. Well, I got to shoot one of these rifles. When I was down in Tennessee with Hootie Who and all those guys, Pat, real man of genius, had a Rossi lever action that actually had a threaded barrel for a suppressor. The thing was super fun to shoot, and if you haven't seen that video, look back through my catalog, you'll see it. But anyway, recently, Pat had uploaded a video about reloading rounds for shooting suppressed 44 mag. If that's something you are interested in, I highly recommend going and checking it out. Pat's a super cool dude. Link down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Full beard manly.